Okay, here's the deposit rate for Ontario, Canada. Anything 650 milliliters and up is 20 cents. Anything below 650 is 10. It has to, if it's under 100 milliliters, we do not take it. It has to be 101 for it to be returnable. Uh, we take all cans, any cans containing alcohol. Uh, you're allowed to crush them flat. We do not take pop cans, juice cans, water bottles, anything like that. It's only things you buy at the liquor store or beer store, including non-alcoholics. Um, all empties must be sorted. So your cans either have to be in a clear garbage bag or in a garbage bag for them to take it, or it's got to be in a box. If you, if you bring them in in a Rubbermaid tote and they're not counted, you have to count them into their bins. If it's counted, they'll dump it. Uh, wine bottles have to be sorted there into their bins or a box. It has to come in a cardboard box. They will not take it in your Rubbermaid bin, your blue box, or anything like that. It's got to be put into their bins or a cardboard box they can recycle. Please check out my YouTube channel. It's linked in bio for full-length videos. Good evening, everybody. It's around 5.30. I'm back out. It's Thursday night. Or sorry, not Thursday night. Wednesday night. Tomorrow's Thursday night. Um, I cashed in a load of pop cans and I got 160 pounds for $126. Uh, 70 something cents a pound. Took in the empties. Uh, two days worth of empties. Wow. Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So. Technically three days, but I work half days on Wednesdays. Ooh. Why is my bike falling? So yeah, I cashed in empties for those two for those two full days, and I got a uh, hundred and forty plus the strap, which was three weeks worth. So we'll say two hundred dollars for this week or for last week. Um, I am going to need a part for my bike. The, something in the motor failed the, to make the pedals move. The chain ring and the chain move, the pedals stay still. That's the issue. And so yeah, it's going to be 100 bucks off wherever. The battery has still not been shipped out because the battery failed and it has not been shipped out. Once again, only a deposit on bottles and cans can hang alcohol, including bags and curtains. And non-alcoholics, like non-alcoholic Coors, non-alcoholic Budweiser, Bex. Pop cans are for scrap metal. Gotta put that bin back inside where it was. This ain't a bad start. Bush House has got nothing this week. Okay, so I just picked up a white clock and I'm gonna keep an eye out for this. 22% alcohol, it's a mason jar of, I think, moonshine. So, these do have a deposit on them, they're considered alcohol bottles. Okay. The six packs are sitting right on top, so I'll just put them in there. Find it easier to return bottles in their cases. These are all one type. These are considered um, colored imported. So if it's an imported beer, it goes to a recycling center to be, it gets shipped to a recycling center after the beer store. So Bex, Heineken, Grolsch, Guinness. There's also a clear category, which is Corona Land Shark. These are non-alcoholics. Yeah, whatever. Okay, there we go. Might head to the beer store actually. I don't got a lot, but even if this is ten bucks, it's kind of worth it to cash it in. This is the first recycled day here since Halloween, so I thought it might be good. It's always good.
but I thought it might be better. Huh, sorry about that. So, um, oh. so yeah, yeah, I think it will definitely be beneficial to hit up the beer store, especially with this one. Which I have their empties from last week from this house. I just cashed them in earlier today. It's nice having the beer store right next to this neighborhood because then I can cash in if I do well versus the other neighborhoods I run. The one's close to the beer store, but I run it Sunday night before the, and the beer stores close at six on Sundays and I get out there by like 5.30. Yeah, the same word's right next to the beer store, which is nice. <clears throat> okay, I counted 22 into the bin. So you have to have them counted when you go to the beer store. 23, 24, 26, Seven. Yeah. Nine. Ooh, what are the odds of that? Just found another one. See you in the next one. 105 cans. Okay. Pop cans up there. Sleeman. Is that a blender? heavy. It's a blender. This one feels really heavy. I'm going to take that and take it apart because blenders are not actually recyclable. I know no region that recycles blenders. I'll set it aside. Leave that bin for empties. that down there.
I do not take cat food tins because you have to remove the paper label to get old sheet. And I'm not going to spend my time removing labels. That's dangerous. You're not supposed to throw broken glass in your recycle bin. All broken glass must go in the garbage, wrapped in paper or multiple plastic bags.